Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we are going to see how we can detect simple geometrical shapes using OpenCV. So to start with, I have this simple code which reads an image and then show it into a I am show window. So let's uh, run this uh, simple code first of all and let's see what it does. So you can see I have this image which I'm loading into a OpenCV window using I am show method and here we have uh, some shapes. So we have a pentagon, circle, rectangle, square, triangle and this uh, star shape, right? And let's say we want to detect using OpenCV which shape it is based upon uh, the geometrical shape and we want to write the name on top of this shape. So how we can achieve this, let's see using OpenCV. So as you can see, if the first step is to read an image and then in the second uh, line, I'm just converting this image into a grayscale mode image. So using this code, I'm just converting this uh, image into a grayscale mode. And in the next step, we are going to find out the threshold. So I'm going to just say underscore comma thresh is equal to cv2 dot threshold. So cv2 dot uh, threshold. And we are going to pass our image, which is a grayscale image, which we have converted as a source. And then the next two values are the threshold values and the maximum uh, value of uh, the threshold. So for now, I am giving the threshold value to 40 because I know this will work. But if you want to be more flexible, you can always use the track bar to find out uh, which threshold will work with your image. The second value is the maximum value of the threshold and the next value will be the type. So the type here will be cv2 dot thresh binary. So we are going to just say cv2 dot thresh binary. Now in the next step, we are going to find out the contours. So contours we have already uh, seen in the last uh, videos how to find out the contours and what are contours. So for that, I'm going to define two variables. One is contours variable, other is uh, the underscore variable because we don't need the second uh, uh, result. And then I'm going to just say cv2 dot find contours. The first argument here will be the thresholded image. And then the second argument here will be the mode and third will be the method. So let's give these two values. So cv2 dot R E T R tree and the method will be CV2 dot uh, chain approx none. Okay, so let's uh, give uh, this method. So this is the simple procedure to find out the uh, contours inside an image. Now in the next step, I'm going to iterate over all the contours. So I'm going to just say for uh, contour in contours so we are going to iterate over all the contours and then we are going to first of all use a method called cv2 dot approx poly dp so i'm going to just uh, declare a variable first of all i'm going to just say approx is equal to cv2 dot this method which i have mentioned which is called approx poly dp. So this method approximates a polygonal curves with a specific precision. And the first argument which it takes is the curve. So our curve here will be the contour which we have found on the shape. The second argument here will be epsilon. So epsilon is the parameter specifying the approximation accuracy. So here, what we are going to do is we are going to define epsilon is equal to 0 0.01. And then we are going to multiply this number by cv2 dot 
arc length so there is uh, this method called arc length and what does this arc length method do it calculates a contours parameter or a curve length so here in this arc length uh, parameter we are going to pass once again our uh, contour variable and the second argument here will be if it's closed or uh, the open contour so in our case we know that all the shapes which we want to detect are closed so we are going to just pass true here and the next argument in the approx poly dp uh, method will be uh, once again if it's a closed shape or the open shape so once again we are going to pass true here because all the shapes which we have are closed shapes now once we have this approximation we are just going to draw all the contours first of all so we are going to just say cv2 dot draw contours on which image on our original image so we are going to draw these contours on the original image and then we are going to pass the second argument and this will be our approximation so we can uh, in the square bracket this is uh, one other notation of uh, just uh, giving the number of contours as an argument to the draw contours uh, method so in the square brackets you can just pass uh, the approx the next parameter here will be the contour index so because we are iterating over all the contours that's why the index will always be zero because there will be only one contour which we are working at a time so this index will be zero the next argument here will be uh, the color so you can give any color here i am going to give uh, 0 comma 0 comma 0 let's say and then uh, the next will be the thickness so thickness i'm going to give here is 5 now the next step is to print out the shape so which shape it is we want to print on the shape which shape it is in uh, simple english let's say so for that we need to find out the coordinates on which we want to uh, print this text on the shape so we need to find out the x and y coordinates so we can find this x and y coordinates using uh, this approx uh, variable and we uh, can uh, just say approx dot revel so this is a, a method called ravel and then the first index here will be the x coordinate and in a same way we are going to just say approx dot ravel and on this method the second argument or the second index at index 1 will be the y coordinate so on these x and y coordinates we are going to print our uh, text now in the next step what we are going to do is so because this approx poly dp is going to approximate the number of polygonal curves so based upon the number of polygonal curves we can uh, just uh, approximate which shape it can be so if this approx length so let's uh, just find out the length of uh, this approx and if the length of this approx uh, variable is equal to 3 then we are going to say that it's a triangle because triangle can be made with three points so this length of approx variable if it's equal to 3 then we are going to say that it's a triangle because uh, if the number of curves here are 3 then most probably it's going to be a triangle so if we know that this is a triangle then we can uh, easily uh, just uh, print or put text on uh, that image so we are going to just say put text and uh, the first variable here will be the image so we are going to put text on the image the second variable will be the text and we know that this will be a triangle so we are going to just say triangle here 
and then the next argument here will be the uh, coordinates on which you want to print this text. So we already found out the, the coordinates at which we want to put this text. The next argument here will be the font. So we are going to just say cv2 dot font Hershey complex and the next argument here will be the font scale. So let's say font scale will be 0 0.5 and the next argument here will be the color so you can give any color let's uh, say we just want to print this text in the black color itself so we are going to just say 0 comma 0 comma 0 then using this logic we can also say that if the length of this approx is equal to 4 then it can either be a square or a rectangle so here if the approx length is 4 then it can be a square or a rectangle but we don't know if it's a square or a rectangle so for now we can uh, just write that it's a rectangle and we are going to decide if it's a rectangle or a square in the next step but uh, let's define the other uh, if else conditions also so this was uh, l if similarly if number of approx points are 5 then we are going to say that it's a pentagon so we are going to print out uh, the pentagon text on the x and y coordinates and if the number of uh, points are 10 then we are going to just say that it's a star shape so we are going to just say star because in the star the number of points are 10 and then we are going to say that in any other condition so we are going to just say else and we are going to just remove this condition from here else in any other condition it's going to be a circle okay so if uh, approx length is 3 it's a triangle if approx length is 4 it's a rectangle or a square if 5 pentagon if it's 10 it's a star if it's uh, nothing out of all these options then it's a circle you can also find out uh, for example octagon or hexagon here if it's uh, 6 it's a hexagon if it's 8 it's a um, uh, octagon and so on right now let's uh, once again come to this step and in this step we uh, just know that if the number of points are 4 then it's a rectangle or a square but how can we find if it's a rectangle or a square so let's decide that now so what we are going to do for that is we are going to just say x comma y and then we are going to just say uh, w comma h for width and height and there is a method called cv2 dot bounding uh, rect which is going to uh, give us the x and y coordinates and the width and height of the rectangle right so we are going to apply that method so cv2 dot bounding rect on our approximate variable or approx variable which is going to give us the x and y uh, coordinate and uh, width and height now based upon the width and height we can find out the aspect ratio so we are going to just say aspect uh, ratio is equal to float first of all we need to typecast uh, the width into a float so we are going to just say a float w divided by height and this will be the aspect ratio of the rectangle now if this aspect ratio let's print out the aspect ratio also so we know what aspect ratio uh, we are getting using uh, the rectangle or the square and we are going to just say if this aspect ratio is between uh, 0.95 and 1.05 then it's going to be a square right because 
the width and height are almost same ok. So, we just give uh, some room for uh, some noises that is why we are providing here ideally it should be a 1 aspect ratio should be 1 uh, in order to have a square. But let us say uh, we are uh, just uh, approximating. So, we can just say if it is 0 0.95, if it is greater than 0 0.95 and if it is uh, less than. So, aspect ratio is less than or equal to 1.05, then it is a square. Okay. In ideal situation, you might want to give here 1. But uh, in images, uh, it can be a uh, little bit different. So, we are just giving this limit. So, if uh, the aspect ratio falls in this limit, then it is going to be a uh, uh, square. Otherwise, it is going to be a rectangle, right. And I am going to just say that if uh, this is the case, then it is going to be a uh, square. Otherwise, so in the else condition, so let us uh, give uh, this else condition here, else it is going to be a rectangle. So, let us uh, print rectangle uh, in the put text. Okay. So, this is the code which we have uh, written and now finally, what we are going to do? We are going to just uh, show the shapes image including all the contours and the text which we have put on these shapes. So, let us run this code and let us see if it works or not. So, you can see now it is going to uh, work like this. So, all the contours are drawn across these shapes and you can see uh, the text on top of uh, these shapes. So, circle, rectangle, pentagon, star, triangle and squares. What you can also do here is you can uh, just change uh, this uh, text position using the x and y coordinates. So, uh, let us say I just want to change this y position to just little bit uh, top of the shape. So, I just added minus 5 offset here in the y axis. And now, you can see it goes little bit up this text, right. So, now it is uh, much visible uh, this uh, text. And you can see rectangle and square text is not going up because we have declared the local x and y here also. So, we can uh, just say x1 and y1 here and then run uh, this code once again and you can see this uh, rectangle and square text is also moved little bit up. So, I think the offset of 5 is ok to show these uh, text on top of uh, these shapes. So, this is how you can uh, detect simple geometric shapes using OpenCV. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.